Hey, boom. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a brand new genre to this channel called Hood Trap. Or at least that's what I'm calling it. Because in recent weeks, Hood Trap is blowing up all over TikTok. With the producer called Spasm in a big role in that, I can't lie. I came across his TikToks and they were all sounding so hard. Oh, I tested it out myself. Got 120k views on a TikTok. And as well as having AJ Tracy and Big Nasty both commenting on the TikTok. This stuff is popping right now. But listen, Hood Trap has been around for years. You can search these type beats on YouTube. They have been around. And there is so many people calling this stuff different types of genres. People are calling them jerk beats. People are calling them DJ Ez type beats. They call them sigil core beats. For some reason, people are calling a dark plug, which I don't agree with whatsoever. But anyway, from the research that I have done, I believe personally, the stuff that I'm making is a mix between hood trap, super trap and DJ Ez type beats. I don't even know who DJ Ez is, but shout out to him. Follow whatever you want. I'm going to show you exactly how to make these type of beats from scratch. And why would you not want to try and make these? Because like I said, they're popping off everywhere, especially in the UK scene. I'm going to be breaking down the essential elements you need for these beats and guiding you through the creative process of how to make your own hood trap type beats. But before we jump into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also put on that stupid a little notification bell if you don't miss any of my uploads and join the slip to shelly community let's get into it now the absolute beautiful thing about these type beats is the melody can be anything if you want to make a melodic melody make a melodic melody if you want to sample something go sample something or if you want it to be dark then make it dark and you know me you know i love dark beats so today we are of course going to make this dark we are starting off with some analog labs action we're in the key of c minor so we're going to go ahead and Maybe do something like this. Just a very simple chord. Gonna drop that down to give it a nice bit of a darker feel. Drink it out a bit. <laughs> you know what? We could make this very, very simple. We're gonna make this one chord. Boom. Repeat. <laughs> oh, we've thrown on a couple of effects to it. <laughs> Doesn't really change it that much, to be honest. Again, sticking inside of Analog Labs. And I think we're just going to layer it along the note. It's quite loud. When mixing some of these melodies, there's four very important effects you can use to make melodies sound a little bit more spacey and a little bit more dark. Fruity flanges, fruity flanger, fruity chorus, and fruity phaser. As you can actually see on my mixer track, we have adjusted the mix knob on all of them. I like to turn them all quite low. I'm also using an EQ cutting out highs and lows, which then turns it into this. If you're not wearing headphones, probably can't hear it that well. Analog Labs is treating us well, so we're probably just going to make the whole melody in Analog Labs. We're taking a quick arp. We might even just use that as like a little stab at the start of a bar, maybe. Again, still using the same one chord. Oh, wait, maybe if we push that up instead. Oh, that sounds nicer. We're going to take a bit of a kind of like a sweepy kind of sound. We are putting it to the same mixer track that had all of those effects on it. And it now sounds like this. And I think we might layer this up the top, the G-sharp up the top. This is more for just like a subtle texture. I'm going to grab one more pad. Because we have that arp at the start, we might pull this pad over a little bit. And then quick copy and paste. Using Stereo Enhancer, Crystallizer, Valhalla Vintage Verb, and also an EQ cutting the highs and the lows. And lastly, we have a bit of a, uh, like a sequence or an arp here. And I think we're just going to create like a, like a top line melody kind of. I kind of hear something in my head. If you've guessed it by now, we are going to consolidate this. Let's reverse it. And we'll throw a half time on it. This is sounding nice. All those like spacey textures and pads that we made all actually came out really nice once it's half timed and reversed. <clears throat> now we made that melody at 147 BPM and these hood trap beats kind of range from anywhere from like 140 BPM all the way up to like 170 BPM. But at the minute I'm kind of liking around the 160 BPM. So we have sped it up to 165 and we've also changed the pitch. Yeah. 
Oh, it's now time for the drums. I kind of separate my drums into two different sections. One section being a bit of a switch up. So let's start with section one. Um, we're going to be coming into my abduction super trap kit. Now, listen, it says super trap kit. I use this kit for any sort of trap that I do. The drums for these beats are basically two elements, the 808 and the snare. They are like the two main elements that define what these beats are. Just like for drill, what defines drill is like the counter snare pattern and your 808s. Or in Jersey, the kick pattern defines that as like a Jersey beat. You can do either first, but today we're going to start with the snare. And before we do anything, this is one bit of sauce straight off the rip. I like to add a slight bit of delay onto my snare. So I come into the little spanner section and turn up the feedback here, put the time on two, and I also put up the pitch by 700 cents. I make sure it's on ping pong. Now, when I say snare pattern, you probably immediately think of just like some kind of trap snare pattern like this, but that's not the case. And this snare pattern is why I understand why some people call it a jerk type beat, because it does kind of take the jerk kind of bounce. The snare is basically like your hi-hat or counter snare. But one thing you need to remember is that the 808 is going to be basically layered on top of this. So you want to be able to create a sort of a bounce between your snare and your 808. <laughs> I'm going to crank the volume of this up as well, and we're also going to pitch it down to B. Then next, we're going to go into the abduction drum kit again, and we're taking my go-to 808. This is the spins 808 that I use for literally everything. Anytime I'm using the spins, I use this because I don't, one, I don't need to mix it. I don't need to do anything. It just comes at how it is. And like I said, you just kind of want to layer your 808 on top of some of these notes. No, not, not every single note. And I'm in A sharp. After you play around with it for a bit. This is basically our first section done. Now for section two. First thing that you want to do is you want to copy your snare pattern. You want to paste it in here. And then you want to pitch it up an octave. So now it sounds a bit like this. You can kind of play around with it again to create a bit more of a unique bounce. Then you want to copy your 808 pattern. And we are grabbing a different 808 from the abduction drum kit. And we're just going to paste it in here. And again, you kind of want to make some changes because we're not using actually a spins here. So it's probably going to sound a little bit different. Still, eventually it sounds something like this. Now you could pitch this down even further. But I kind of like it at this, this pitch. I think sound selection is key for this. If you want to use any of these sounds that I'm using currently in this video, you should definitely check out my Abduction Super Trap Kit. Link for that will be in the description. And then all of a sudden, you have a bit of a switch up. Now, last thing about these type of beats is kind of like the transitions and stuff. There seems to be like a lot of cuts at the end of bars or a lot of like... Rep repetition throughout the beat and things of that nature oh if you're a long-term fan of me something that i like to include in these beats and that i've always included in all my beats are like humanized breaths and like gasps because i always just think they sound incredibly hard so we have a, a bit of an example of it here See the way there's just a tiny little cut at the end and I'll bring in the gasp. And yeah, after that, then for arrangement, it's kind of just about getting creative with automations and things of that nature. We have a bit of a secret plugin I'm using here. If you're trying to find out what it's called, this FLP will be available over on my Patreon. Link in the description for that. And yeah, this is the full beat. Listen, I think these beats are hard. I can definitely see artists in the UK using these. We've already seen Nems post that remix already onto his TikTok. He sounds cold on it. We have AJ Tracy saying how cold he thinks these are. We have Digga D saying how, how cold he thinks these beats are. I've already had artists hit me up from those TikToks 
asking me to send these type of beats so who knows this could be the next wave so i'm gonna make a lot of these beats i'm gonna be posting consistently on tiktok make sure you follow me over there as well appreciate you for watching man if you've made it this far in the video do hit the like button and let me know what you think in the comments if you're gonna be making these beats if you're not gonna be making these beats if you think this is trash let me know run me up in instagram and twitch no run me up in instagram and tiktok because they're the only two things I care about i'm out good luck so